How many kinds of spirit do we have? How many kinds of spirit? Yeah. Now, how many kinds of people could be led by the Holy Spirit, but some people are led by their own their own pride. And it, you know, there can be some work of the evil spirit in there that if they just want to say, I have this supernatural power. Now, we do, we can have this supernatural power. They are prophets. It's true they are prophets. You know, actually in Hong Kong, we have training of prophecy, how to receive messages from God. Actually, some of you would have received messages from God too. But it's very important to discern, to discern, to discern whether this, what they receive, is it accurate? So we can pray and then see if there are thoughts that come to our mind. One passage, that number of passages that tell us that God speaks to us. One is uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. Philippians 2 13. For it is God who is at work in you to will and to act out the, to do the perfect will of God. Now what does that mean? Is that as Christians, when we follow God and love God, it's God who works in us so that we make up the mind and put it in action. So Christians do receive because Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. So we do receive the messages from God. But at the same time, there are people who have his own selfish desires or, or the, you know, the pride or hunger for money for instance, I heard some of the people who try to control people by cursing people. So they they have these ideas and they find that they think that it works. And then they will follow that instead of following God. Then they have the danger starting to receive also messages from the evil spirit. But if people are pure in hearts and they discern the thoughts, now how do you discern? Whether it's in accordance with the Bible, whether it helps people spiritually, whether it meets the need of a person at that situation. And sometimes, when some people want to do something wrong, and then the voice will speak something opposite to their desires, that should have come from the Lord. Because they want to marry someone because she's beautiful and has a lot of money, and then she want, he wants to marry her. But then the Holy Spirit says, don't want to marry because of money or because of her look and then so that's opposing to her his own desire and it's accordance with the teaching of the Bible then it's from God also so we discern this but there are some people now I know there are prophecy there are gifts of prophecy and there are people who can look at you immediately they can receive a message from God the point is you have to discern the whole life do they just do it for their own benefit for money Always saying, telling people, always pushing people to give more and more money, more money, so that you can get more blessings from God. Now, when we give, God does bless us, but we don't give to get blessings. Now, some people say, if you owe a lot of money, you give a lot, and then God will give you back a lot. We don't give to get money back. We give because we thank God and we appreciate God. So we don't push people to give by telling them you give and then you receive more money. That could be manipulating people or ways to manipulate people. Then you should be very careful of these people and I say you should avoid people like that. That we should follow people who follow God totally and want to follow God's will. And then when you are pure in heart and you pray more and listen to God's voice more and verify that, don't say I'm a prophet. Ask your pastor to verify that with you, to whether you have received from God. And then the more you verify, the more you know that you're receiving from God, then, then you can start to use it after a long period of testing it. And, but the way how people use it too, it will show whether they are using it for their own glory. If they want to say, look at me, I have a lot of power. I can say who is you and I mean, if they, draw people's attention to themselves, then it's not from God. If they draw people's eyes to God and tell, tell them how good God is, and tell people about the goodness of God and help people to love God and respond to God, then they are following God's way.
There are some people, they do have the Holy Spirit, but they also have a lot of selfishness in them. So we have to discern the people. Yeah, don't just follow anyone, you see. Don't just look at anointing. Look at the life. Look at the teaching.